Good Bronco. Good Bronco. So this is my 95 Bronco. I bought it a couple months ago, stuck it in the back because I've been dealing with all the COVID stuff and uh, haven't done anything with it. But this is the cleanest, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, the cleanest Copart Bronco I've ever seen. I got this from up north in Pennsylvania area. It is a, surprisingly not, clean title, Copart vehicle. And it is almost perfect. I mean, almost. Everything works except for one thing, and I'll show you that in a minute. But this thing is great. It's got a cool bed liner uh, paint job on it. I think it's that uh, Line-X or something like that. It's really neat. Uh, it's got brand new tires on it, fender wells, brand new headlights, brand new taillights. The bumpers have been painted. This thing's perfect. The interior is spotless and everything works. So. Uh, let's go on a little tour real quick and I'll show you what's going on. said, this thing is just perfect. There's no dents, there's no rust, the mirrors all work, the tires are dirty from being driven at the Copart lot, but I mean, it's even got aftermarket wheels, super rare on these, everybody likes to keep them stock. It's just one of those, I don't know how I got this lucky. The rear window even works. I mean, this thing is just perfect. Go all the way around it, and then we'll go on the inside and start her up. That is my mom's Jeep. Not a real Jeep, but it is a Jeep. All right, let's go on the inside. How cool is that? Look out! I mean, that's ridiculous. This interior is... There's a little bit of wear right here, but it is, shoot, 30 years old almost. Let's do a real quick of the back. Perfect, right? Just very, very 90s, very red. Even got a little liner thing in the back. This thing is just unbelievable. All the armrest work, this is usually real common that these things fall down all the way. Works perfect. This is really cool. Got a tape deck. When's the last time you saw a tape deck? There is not a tape in it. I was hoping I'd get lucky. But everything works. All the windows roll up. The power mirrors even work. All the headlights work. Let's uh, get the keys out of my pocket and start her up. And we'll go on a little drive. Perfect. It has got a hundred, if I can focus in on that, 163,483 miles on it. And this thing is just unbelievably smooth. The AC blows nice and cool, which me being in Texas is a huge plus. Uh, as you can see, windows roll up and down. The cruise control works. This is what blew my mind, is the power mirrors actually even work. That was just, I did not expect that. Ford is not known for the reliability of their electronics from the 90s. The back window. How many Bronco owners out there, their back window actually goes up and down? without you having to fix it. I also don't know, maybe someone else can answer, what the heck this button does. It's not factory, it turns on and off. I think it controls the fans, but I have to do a little more research, a little bit more investigation. But as you can see, the gas gauge thoroughly does not work. I definitely don't have way over a fuel tank, right? So let's go on a little cruise around the neighborhood and see how she does. She actually rides fairly smooth. 
I've not driven a Bronco in 20 years because this came out when I was in high school. This is a 95, so it's at the end of the uh, body style for this one. They stopped making these, I think, in 97. Um, like I said, I haven't even watched it, so the windshield's a little dirty, but this thing is really smooth. The power is okay. Uh, it is a five liter, so it's a smaller V8. I think they're around 185, maybe 200 horsepower. Maybe 210, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. I'm sure I will put a note down in the bottom. But this is the last of the big Ford SUVs before they started going to more luxury based. Um, they did have an Eddie Bauer of this, which was, you know, as luxury as you could get in 95. Um, but, you know, this has everything that Eddie Bauer has except for like the, um, the, the leather, really. So it's, it's pretty, pretty reliable. I haven't had any issues with it. The only thing that does not work on it so far is the gas gauge. So the gas gauge is a fairly easy fix. Drop the tank, put it in a new Cindy unit. That's, that's the least of my worries right now. I'm just going to um, put 20 bucks in it every week or so, and, and that should be getting by. But for the most part, this thing is very reliable. It's a little on the loud side because in 95 they didn't know what sound deadening was. So <laughs> they, uh, they didn't have the best sound deadening. So we'll have to get that fixed. Uh, the radio is terrible, uh, as they all were in 95. Even the aftermarket radios weren't great. So um, we'll get that fixed and put a double den in it. I found a kit that'll let me put a double den unit in a Bronco. So I'm going to order that and we'll get that put in there. Maybe throw a couple subwoofers in there for a little bit of base and uh, we'll see how that comes out. But I think the most important thing from a, a comfort standpoint is getting the uh, sound deadener put in the back. These things are very, if you've driven Broncos, they're very loud in the, from the rear end side. The, especially with these off-road tires, they're very loud from the road noise. Um, it's not too bad at low speeds, but when you get up around 55, 60, um, it gets to be a little bit of a headache. But we'll get that fixed. That's not really that hard of a fix. And uh, we'll get that going. But I really, really have been thoroughly impressed with this truck. It's, I, mean, I haven't driven it a whole lot. So I've taken it on the highway a couple times, but nothing, Nothing I wouldn't say you would expect from, from a 1995 Ford uh, to be this comfortable. It's got some squeaks and rattles, but all 90s vehicles really did back then. Uh, Ford wasn't, and Chevy and all the domestics, they weren't exactly known for their uh, fit and finish in the 90s. So um, uh, Doug DeMiro, one of my favorite car reviewers, and a lot of everybody's favorite car reviewers, did a really good review on the uh, last generation uh, Bronco. I highly suggest you go check that out. Of course, after you finish watching this video, but it's it's definitely a really fun video. So we're not going to do a whole whole lot to this vehicle. My uh, wife wants me to put uh, a lift and some bigger tires on it just to make it look a little bit more off-road uh, worthy. Uh, it is a four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive works perfect. It's got the worn locking hubs in the front. Um, so it is a true off-road vehicle. And uh, my wife likes that and wants us to, to start doing some off-road stuff. I'm more of a street guy. I haven't really done a whole off -road, a lot of off-roading, so that might be kind of fun to learn. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see us do a lift and some bigger tires. A uh, couple little things to do this one. Like I said, we're going to put a new radio in it. I'm really excited about getting a doubled in with the Apple CarPlay. Uh, new speakers in the doors in the back and maybe throw some subwoofers in the back like I said. But uh, the sound deadening is a, is a real priority for me and possibly moving the exhaust a little bit because they, they the way they have it, it cuts off right before the cab so it drones a little bit. So I think if I just put a tip on there and get it outside of the, the cab of the vehicle, it'll be 
a lot less uh, drone knee. It's drony a word. I, I don't know. Hashtag drony. So if you like the the video and you want to see more of what we're going to do to this, uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you think uh, you like this vehicle. Comment below. Let me know what you would like to see us do to this. What you, if you're a Bronco owner, let me know what you did to yours. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.